everybody. Welcome. Just in time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pins, everybody. Glad to have you with me. I'm Larry, so let's get on with uh, today's review. Today's review, I have a brand new pin. Uh, a uh, pin maker sent me these pins free of charge for an honest and fair review. And that's what I'm going to do here today. Uh, brand new pin on the market. Just now coming out. And uh, let's get to... The fountain pen, and the fountain pen is Mr. Announcer. This is the F. Salvatore. Here's a picture that I had blown up so you can get a good look at this fountain pen. As well as this one. This is the, uh, the black matte finish on it with a fine hooded nib. And uh, while we're at it, they come in this packaging right here. And you got a regular cardstock type box with the name, logo right here. Really nicely done. I like that gold look with the black. It goes very well together. And the box just slides out. And we're going to open the box. Boom, just like that. I've seen these boxes before. I, I love the way the box opens. I'm a box freak. I like a nice looking box for a presentation. And here in the bed lies asleep this beautiful fountain pen. So let me pull it out. And then we'll get to it. So. Here's what we're looking at. Get everything in order here. So you can see this beautiful fountain pen. It is pretty. I like it. Now, this fountain pen, notice the shape of the barrel. It kind of goes, has a slight curve in it. That makes it kind of different looking. I like that kind of look. It's unique. Right in here is where it kind of dips a little bit. So let's just talk about the cap. The cap has your arrow looking clip. It's really tight. It could use a little less tightening on the clip. Uh, it's got that Parker kind of look on the clip. And the finial on top is just a stainless steel cap flat, which goes well with the finish of the pen. And in the middle of the pen at the bottom of the cap is a, another trim ring around it. Let's go all the way down this smooth, great looking pen. And you got the same kind of finish on the bottom as you do the top of the pen. So, it's a pull-on, pull-off cap. And you hear that pop? That's what I like about pins that do that. You hear that pop, you know they're securely in place. Now, it has a plastic in line inside the fountain pen cap. So, does it post? Well, yes, it does post. Uh... And it does fall off. So it doesn't uh, post securely. So be careful. If you're going to post it, remember, you could break the inside of that plastic insert that's inside the cap. Or if you just put it on there gently like that, it will stay on while you write. For me, I have to use the cap because the pen, even though it fits well in my hand and it's comfortable, it's still a little bit short for me. If it was maybe another inch, inch and a half, it would be perfect for my little bitty hands. So, let's move on down to the grip. There's a slight step off 
to the grip. There's no uh, nothing sharp, and you can see some little line indications on the barrel, I guess for looks. You go down to the nib, and as you all know, if you keep up with my videos, I'm not much into hooded nibs and fine nibs unless the nib is a wet rider. So, here is the nib, as you saw in the picture. And there is the feet. Okay, so let's open the pin up and see what it looks like inside. Here is the converter that comes with it. It's simple. Seen them before. Slide up and down to uh, draw your ink out. So that's that. And inside you see a little spring type, like a ball, but this is a little spring looking type that the agitator to help with the flow in your converter. So everything's looking good so far. So in a few we'll do the running sample, but right now. The F Salvatore fountain pen I'm going to place over here because I have another one. And the reason why I'm doing it this way, because it's easier for me and they're both are exactly the same type of pen. Different color. And here it is on a blown up. I like the detail of the name on the cap. It looks really nice. Nice looking pen. Red polish, nothing great going on, just nice, simple. And here is the hooded nib, and then the feed. Remember, both pins are identical, nothing different, just the color. Uh, and uh, this is called the calligraphy pin, and this one is the million dollar pin. So, I'm going to give you some dimensions, and remember, it's going to be the same on both. At least, that's what my measurer told me. So, the length of the pen will be going into first. And let me pull out the notes of the pen. The length of the pen is 5.41 inches. The cap of the pin is 0 0.57 inches at the widest point. The barrel of the pin at the widest point is 48 inches. Then you go down to about the middle weight of the pin and it goes to 41. And then here at the bottom, up here, it jumps up to 45. You kind of see a, like a little curve there. So, we'll open this one up and give you the same look as I did before. Hooded nib. And open her up. And it has the same kind of converter. Simple converter. So, we'll... Set this aside because we've got one more pin to show you and then we'll do a writing sample on all three. So moving right along here. All right. Here's one you're really going to like. At least I fell in love with it. All right, Mr. Announcer will pronounce that name. F. Salvatore. There it is. This is the El Salvatore, and it's the gunpowder black and rose gold fountain pen. And they also take standard ink cartridges as well. We're talking about all three. Okay. The only difference in this pen is the size. And here is the nib. It's a medium regular nib. 
Now I'll talk about the pin itself. We'll start with the cap first and we're going to go right to the clip. First of all, the clip, and this is a thicker shirt, no pocket, but it slides well and securely and comes off well. So, not too tight, not too loose. This pin was way tighter than the other. So, and there's your rose go, and there's your gun metal right here. It's a metal pin. I don't know how heavy it is. I don't have a scale to weigh them, and I couldn't find anything on the site. Uh, there was something in the site that gave it weight, but I think that was with the box and everything with it. Uh, now, on the top of the pin, matches the same as the barrel and the cap. Go on down, it kind of tapers off in the bottom of the pin. I like the rose gold contrast with it, my favorite color. This is a nice looking fountain pen. I love the color, I love the feel, I love the weight, I love the metal. A lot of people don't like this. They're not into metal, they're more into plastic. Some people like myself are, so you have people that the do and the don't. Well, I'm one of the do's. So, now this fountain pen. Found of some minor concerns here. It's a pull-off and it's kind of hard but it snaps on. You hear that snap? So you got to pull it kind of hard. It kind of reminds me of the uh, oh what is it? The Castell fountain pen. So that's kind of hard but you can still take it off with one finger. So there you go. I think maybe the more you use it, the easier it gets. Because I've been working with this pen for a day now. So, inside, as the other two pins, is a plastic insert. And in this insert, it's starting to come undone some as I look inside. The uh, plastic inside is starting to come apart. I'm just noticing that now. Now these are positive things I'm, I'm letting the seller slash maker know and he's aware of it because he's interested in his fountain pens to improve whatever needs to be improved. So let's take a look at the pen. Before I go any further, I'm going to set it right there. And this reminds me of the Hero. Does it not? The colors. This one is probably a slight bit darker than the Hero. The body shape is bigger, thicker. The color shape is maybe a little tad darker. The clip it's way nicer than the Hero. The design of the pen is, in my opinion, much nicer than the Hero. The Hero is metal, just like this one. The girth, you can see, much more pronounced than the Hero. Okay. So, and... Let's go on down to the grip. Step down, slight, but nothing sharp. Nothing will hurt your fingers. My fingers fit uh, perfectly on the grip. And in the hand, it fits well to write. And I have small hands, but if it was like the other pen, maybe an inch more, it would be better for me. So. Does it cap? Yes and no. It caps as long as you do this. And some would find that maybe a little top heavy or a little awkward when you're writing. And will it fall off? Yes. And if you stick it in any harder, you'll start to uh, 
put some pressure on that insert that's inside and it will crack. So if you have to cap it, do it gently and make sure you don't wiggle it around a lot. So let's talk about the nib. The nib has Genius Iridium written on the nib. And it's got a little detail work on it. Not much, nothing really going on with the nib. On the nib size, it is not visible on the nib. Turn the nib over. There you just plastic a feed. And it's got a number one right there. So let's open it up. So we can talk about the inside, it's going to be interesting. This converter is not the converter that came with it. This is the converter that came with the fountain pen. I don't know if you can see that well enough. Let me get some background here for you. Right here. Okay. The uh, fountain pen was really not usable. It's cracked on the top, and then when you do that, it'll come right apart. There's a crack right there. Yeah, you can get it to work. You just got to be careful with it. You see, it'll come off. And it's just a way lower end pin, uh, converter. I've seen them many in Chinese pins. Uh, but uh, this is a Jin Hao converter that fit into the pen. Okay. But this is another regular Chinese pen that I got off eBay. I got a few of them laying around here that did really well. Almost almost like this one, but really uh, it worked uh, just as well. So yeah, I like this uh, converter much better than this converter. So, but you know, all in all, this is a nice looking pen. It really feels good. Uh, before going to the writing sample of these pens, I think you're going to find very interesting. I know I did for sure. The price for the million dollar pen is $33 and uh, the price for the black one is also $33 and the price for the rose gold gunpowder pen is $39.99 And their website, Mr. Announcer, will announce their website. FSalatoryPens.com So there we have it. Now what do you say we get to the writing? That's going to be interesting. Because I found it very interesting what these pens can do. We'll start with the black one. And before we do that, let me get on my notes here that we'll need and make sure that's on. All right, I'm going to do some writing first. Now, remember, this is a fine hooded nib, and I'm not really into fine nibs unless they're wet, and I don't particularly care for hooded nibs. So let's check this out. All right, there you have it. I'm using the uh, Monte Blanc Permanent Black. Let's uh, check for wetness. This pen lays it down. It's a nice wet rider. 
I like it. Very cool. Very cool. Better take that cap off. And we'll do some messes. And a little line variation. Not really. Upside down. There you have it. You can get that uh, extra fine out of this nib. There is a few skips on it. As you can see. But overall it does a pretty good job upside down. Not the best, but the pen does write extremely well. Love this nib. I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe it if this pen delivered. Man, this pen rocks. Now, real quickly, with the million dollar one, it is the same nib, so we don't have to do the whole nine yards. So, let's just go ahead and do it. A little bit of writing real quick. Fast writing. I love it. I love it. No problems at all keeping up with the flow. It's nice. It's it's it, it's smooth rider. It's just a wonderful, delightful pen to use. Feels great in the hands. It really flows well. Very nice. Wetness is the same as the other. Nice wet nib. This is a fine nib we're talking about. Look at that ink laying down. And the ink I'm using is the Monteverdi Ruby. Nice, nice. Okay, the gunpowder. Black and rose gold. Up next with a medium nib. The ink is Diamine 1864 Blue Black. Here we go. And we'll talk about the nib. Here we go. My fault. All right. It's a little skip there. There, there. There, there, do it again, slow, with pressure, all right. There, there, there. So there is some concerns with the nib. Uh, the nib feels hard. Uh, the nib isn't smooth. It's a bit to the scratchy side between some feet back on it to some scratchiness. Not bad, but it's not the smoothest nib I've written with. And... Uh, but the uh, good thing about it is that I've let Patrick, the uh, owner of these pens, know what's going on with the pen. And uh, rest assured, he is working to correct the nib on this pen. And, and uh, so I'll be looking forward for the update on this pen. Upside down writing.
And it does. It writes really, really well upside down. And let's check for some wetness. And it's not very wet. It lays down the ink, but still, it's just not a wet nib. I'll do a few S's. And a line variation. Red pressure no pressure and you get a bit of variation as you see there this is with pressure without pressure so there you have it what do you think about these brand new pins that are out overall I think they're some nice fountain pins Lower end affordable fountain pens. Uh, so leave your thoughts below. And let me know what you think about these fountain pens. And uh, I'll be sure to pass the information on to Patrick. And uh, with that said, thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe. And remember, as always, don't text and drive. Thank you, folks.